Hi everyone and welcome inside of Pechanga Arena. I'm Chris Pichet setting up tonight's matchup as the Stockton Heat face off against the San Diego Gulls to start this three game road trip. They'll head to Tucson next, but Stockton is looking for two consecutive wins against the Gulls following the win on Monday. Stockton defeated San Diego three to two in overtime. Goals from Rob Hamilton, John McCarron and Corey Schooneman as the Stockton Heat get goals from all up and down their lineup to extend their win streak to two games. I think when you can get contributions from all the way up and down the lineup, it makes uh, you know the first line guys' lives a little bit easier, and um, you know everybody's confidence is going. It's uh, it's contagious out there. You know it's never good to see a teammate go down like Fraser did, um, but you know coach called upon me to step up, and you know it's definitely nice to get one right away that gets the confidence going, and um, you know it's nice to you know get the quote unquote monkey off the back, get it early. Um, you know, like I said, confidence is contagious. So once that goes in for me, it's uh, you know. It makes the game a lot easier. Um, I think what was working was we were keeping it simple. We were getting it out and we were just putting it behind their D um, and then going to retrieve it and, uh, you know, kind of working it down low. Um, and then as far as the goal, I just, Valley, won a, Valley won the corner. Uh, he won the, the battle in there, got it to me behind the net. And I had a little room to skate, so I took it uh, and I got it down and I ended up just shooting it and it went in for me. So it was good. Trailing the Tucson Roadrunners by just one point for the top spot in the Pacific Division, Stockton has a chance tonight to gain sole possession of first place in the Pacific Division for the first time since the morning of November the 3rd. Stockton still has just over two months left in their schedule, but they know tonight and the rest of this road trip is a big measuring stick for the Stockton as they look to take over the reins of the Pacific Division. Yeah, I think so. I think the mentality within the locker room is uh, you know, all these games on the stretch are playoff games, you know, playoff like mentality and, um, you know, it comes with the leadership group and, you know, the coaching staff getting everybody prepared the right way. And, you know, it's, it's fun to be in a, in a room when, you know, when you're winning and when you're making a push. So, um, you know, it makes the game a lot more fun to, you know, be a part of. And, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a serious mindset, but it's a fun mindset. It's a, you know, calm, cool and collected, I guess you could say, but, you know, it's, it's work time when, uh, when you put the skates on. You know, obviously we want to be in first place, but, um, you know, every, every game we're trying to attack is, you know, first game of the season, and we want to get two points. Um, so, you know, it's just going into it, you know, even keeled, um, you know, taking what we can and, and playing simple and just with the mindset that we need these two points and, you know, it's only going to get tighter from here. So, um, you know, every step's going to help us. Some notes heading into tonight's game. Rob Hamilton riding a four-game point streak, and of course, Alan Quine riding a 10-game point streak. He's tied with Mark Jankowski and Andrew Mangiapane for the longest point streak in Stockton Heat history. He'll look to make it 11 tonight as the Stockton Heat aim for their third consecutive victory. For Heat TV, I'm Chris Pichet.